Hey guys, Ray Curtin. Today we're back with another YouTube video, and today we got Evangelion. I think this is what this show is somewhat called. Too much text to read, uh, but it looks like a cool figure. It comes with a frame and some armor. There is things where you can get, like, the armor B and armor A, and it comes, like, with a stand and stuff. Like, there's other weapons this guy can have. It was the regular Evangelion guy, I think it was, that was there, or this pink one, uh, this pink guy. Don't know what his name is, but anyways, I like the pink one a lot more. I personally, I just think it looks better. But if I do see that other original guy, I will pick him up. I like the style. Here's the back. I like the style of these uh, figures and toys. It's really cool. And they have some other figures in the line. Uh, yeah, he was the one I saw. I saw that other one. Yeah, I saw these three were there. Uh. That red one's kind of cool, and so was that one. Uh, there was arms in here for that guy, but I didn't have him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I really like him, so let's get him open. Uh, uh, me and Aiden have uh, opened some Gundam packets in the past. And Gundam is not the same thing as Evangelion. It just kind of has the same style, per personally, I think so. Um, and these are about, like, uh, $15.00. Around, around that. Got some parts you need to break out. More parts you need to break out. And that is in some instructions. Oh wait, no, those aren't instructions. Inside of the box are the instructions. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. It is kind of hard to read, so uh, I'm going to somewhat build this guy, and I'll be back. Doing pretty well, so go so far, guys. So guys, oh gosh, uh, so camera. Um, I've gotten him to the endoskeleton part. That head was insanely tight to get on. I needed help. So guys, be insanely careful in putting that head on. And I understand how they want a tight ball joint, but my gosh, be careful. <laughs> like, really be careful. So, I'm gonna put on his armor and stuff. Hey guys, with pain, sweat, and literal agony, I finally finished this, char this character, so let's just get on with him. So, I really like his detail and sculpting, although he has so many stupid microscopic, these even green, see those green ones? The stupid little microscope, yeah, those are even annoying. You have to put these yellow stickers on, these gray ones, even the gray, th you see that little gray thing in there? You can barely notice it, but I had to put it on. Th these little orange and red ones, all these stupid little microscopic stickers I had to put on to this figure. Kind of dumb, but I love the end result. It's actually really nice. I really do like this figure. It has so many points of articulation. You have to get through them all. But you can have him in his armor mode or his, like, weird-looking robot mode. And the pieces left over for his robot mode are these pieces. You have his calves to make him more robotic instead of the pink, which I should have done in the first place. You have the robotic feet instead of these, like, heels. And then you have the head instead of this one, to give it that illusion that it's, like, before putting the armor on. And, uh, I don't know why none of the other figures that I've bought in, in the past don't have this. He has a peg in, in his hand, and there's a hole in the gun, so it pegs into the uh, hole, and so he doesn't really actually have to grip it. Like, there's no friction, it's just a peg in a hole, which is... So much better than actual friction in, like, the Halo action figures that don't actually grab their guns. Anyways, it's time for articulation. Take the gun back out of his hands. Uh, overall, this figure is really good. Uh, so let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Or, no, I'll start from the top. He has a ball joint for his head. I'd be careful with the head pieces, like, because they're, like, really tight at first. The neck, the neck, the neck joint. Like, in the neck joint, it's really hard. In, in there, uh, the neck really was tight to put in the first time, but the second time, it, after a while, it gets easy. Uh, so it has a, a head joint. There's a ball joint on the head. It's kind of tight, though. Ball joint on the neck. Kind of 
also really tight, but that makes sense because you want good poses with the head. Uh, you have a ball joint for his side flap. You have a hinge joint for this little orange piece so it can fit around the, elbow, uh, the shoulder. You also have this swivel to swivel this around if you wanted to. Um, and now uh, move out of the way for the arm. You have a ball joint-ish thing right here that's pretty loose, so be careful. You have a uh, hinge joint, like weird hinge joint shoulder thing where it can hinge back and forward like the Deadpool figure. Oh, no, don't, please don't unplug. Unplug. Wanted to unplug there for a second. I was like, no, sir, Bob. Uh, anyways, and then it has, like, its shoulder can hinge up. Go back down. And then a ball joint for a shoulder. That's very small, so be careful. A swivel at the top. All these joints are really tight. A swivel right there. A hinge joint for his, his uh, elbow. And no swivel, so that's kind of sad. You had all the swivels except for there. And a ball joint for the hand. Again, all of these are kind of limited because it's a build figure. Kind of feels feels really cheap. And especially like for a figure like a Deadpool or a more actual figure. Same, same articulation on the other side. His chest has a ball joint. Uh, another ball, actually no, a swivel segment down there. A ball jointed chest which allows for an, a good ab crunch, but the armor gets in the way. The other version of him without all this pink armor had a better ab crunch, but this one's okay. Uh, and then you have a, the leg can go up and back. Oh, uh, be careful of these ball joints too. Everything here feels loose and can come out very easily. Back and forward that far. Uh, spreads okay. Not bad at all. Uh, a double jointed knee. At least they got that right. Um, a ankle with a like a, a toe bend and a pivot. Ah, barely a pivot, if like a pivot at all. Uh, and that and a hinge joint, well slash, basically a ball joint for the foot. So, anyways, this is a pretty good figure. Let me put this in his hand real quick. Pretty good figure overall. Uh, if you guys like building and being on the edge of your seat for like an hour and just being stressed out and tedious for like an hour, I'll get these guys. Uh, it's kind of like Legos, but like in the end process feels really good. I wish he had a stand. Uh, there was actually something for this figure at the store where you could buy him a stand for another 15 bucks. I really don't see the price. Uh, what's so good about that price? I don't. I got this guy at Barnes and Noble. Um, I bet you can get them other places too. Uh, it's really a cool figure, and I'm glad I got them. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I could do some com comparisons, but I am, they're all in the closet, and well, they're all packed up, and I really don't want to get them out right now. I really don't want to get them out right now. You made me get them. Okay, I had to go, I had to dig around, and I found my old Gundam guys that me and Aiden built. Uh, out of all three of these Gundams, uh, toys, I would think either this one or this one are really my best, my favorites, and I think I might go with this one, because this one's, like, big, bulky, fun to play with, hasn't broke yet, um, hasn't broke yet, why are his hands backwards, <laughs> anyways, hasn't broke yet, has a bunch of cool things it can do, just big in general, and you would think it would break more. Nope, doesn't. So, don't understand the logic behind these sort of these things. Anyways, pretty good figure right here. Uh, size comparison to the this guy. I would say he was a lot easier to make than this guy because, again, he's thicker. So, yeah. Uh, the posability on him v. him, he wins. And he has, like, two modes. He has, like, I don't know, I think he can turn like a jet. Which is pretty cool. Um, this is the OG Gundam I have. I've had him for the longest because he's like the OG, the first one I made. Pretty cool figure. I like building these uh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, pretty cool figure, size comparison. Uh, I played with him so much that one of his little things broke off, but I just super, super glued that back on, which was fun. And all of his accessories are kind of MIA, uh, missing in action. Uh, I, we moved since then, so a bunch of them got lost because really no place to storage because no weapon storage. Get weapon storage. <laughs> this guy sucks. Me and Aiden spent so much time on him, and I like the idea of a triple changing guy. He could, sh like, all this blue stuff on him, like all the blue armor, could go together and make a jet. He could become a shorter when you take the blue stuff off, so it'd be three modes. This mode, jet mode, and the small guy mode. He also came with stuff, but weapon storage. Weapon handle storage. No weapon storage. Yay! I mean, he might have had that gun holder, but there was like four guns that came with him. It's just not possible to keep all this stuff! My, I'm angry. Uh, size comparison? Not bad. I mean, they're all really the same size. Also, he has so much stuff just keeps falling off this guy. He is missing so many blue parts off of him. I just, he's missing his little yellow things, the yellow, yellow nipples. He's missing his blue and white shoulders, and I have a piece in there that I don't know what's from. And he has a, missing his little blue crown. I just, I don't understand. This figure is loose, floppy, and just does that. He's just trash. He's just trash. He's just the definition of trash. This figure, I'm, let's just be honest, guys. I'm probably not going to keep these things. I don't know how I'm going to keep them. I can't even keep Spongebob. He has my meet my main Spongebob at the Imagination. His, he fell and his rainbow's gone. I'm not really good at storing stuff because I'm running out of storage. Uh, but anyways, overall, good figure. <sighs> I just vented. Good figure. Good everything. Like him a lot.